What's up guys, Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor and today we are going to be doing a little camp site slash resort slash campground Marina. review thing. <laughs> Marina. Oh my Restaurant. <laughs> Basically, we're here at Pirates Cove Resort Marina Campground, and they have a lot to offer. Uh, before we get started, though, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications and do all that stuff that we always ask you to do. Hopefully, you've done it already. All right, guys, so this resort has a few different types of campsites that they offer. They offer your standard campsite with hookups. And then they also offer peninsula sites, which are awesome because they're right on the water. Basically, there's these peninsulas that jut out into the water and they actually have full hookups, which is really sweet. Yeah, and prices for the hookup sites uh, range from $80 to $50 a night, depending on the season and depending on what type of hookups you have. And a little added bonus, if you have a boat or if you're into boating, when you are on a peninsula site, you can leave your boat in overnight, you can anchor it there, and there's a nice sandy beach mm -hmm. where you can hang out during the day. Mm -hmm. So we highly recommend the peninsula site. That's what we always do. Absolutely, and there is a $10 fee per water vessel or, or watercraft or um, ATV, golf cart, whatever other type of toy you might have. So another really cool thing about this resort is they have a restaurant available if, you, if you'd like to go dine out. The food is decent, uh, obviously they have drinks, and what's neat is if you have a boat, you can use the docks here that they have, or you can just go ahead and beach your boat in the canal and have it right there on the patio and you can see it from there. So that's an added bonus, and apparently they have a zip line. Uh, I don't know if it's operational anymore or what. I've never seen anyone do it. We've been here like three years in a row, but there's a cool tower and supposedly a zip line. They also have a bunch of cabins available. Some of them are waterfront right on the beach on the other side of the restaurant. And some of them are up on this patio right here, right in front of the marina. And prices vary based on season. Obviously, there's a lot of activities in the area. Probably the two main ones are obviously boating, as you can see here. <laughs> and then they also have uh, a dune area where you can bring razors, quads, all those different things, rhinos, off-road trucks and the dune section actually connects to a bunch of BLM trails. So from your camp, you know, you could be on your boat one day, the next day you could be in your razor and you could be going off into the hills and exploring. Obviously, if you're bringing your boat, they do have a launch ramp, it might be hard to tell, but it's right here. And I believe Melissa stated that if you have an ATV or a boat, it's a $10 fee just to kind of bring your toy into this area. But overall, it's nice because it's kind of like an all-inclusive, everything is here. So if you do have a boat, another fun thing to do in the area is you can go down river slightly and on the other side, on the Arizona side, they do have another restaurant and bar with a very nice view. So that's just another option if you're in the area. So they do have a general store on site. Um, other than that, there's not too many stores within the vicinity, but the general store here at Pirates Cove, they, it, you know, it's a gift shop, so they have some clothing and some souvenirs, but they also have a few RV items if you run out or if you need something. Um, and they have some groceries and ice as well. Yeah, it is quite expensive, obviously in a resort, but it's nice knowing that you can get ice and we got some eggs and a few different things, just the essentials. So the general store is actually very convenient because we went into town and as far as stores went, there was a Rite Aid 
and a Dollar General here in Needles. And we couldn't really find an actual grocery store, so you're gonna wanna bring as much groceries as you can beforehand. And you can use these kind of little stores to just kind of replenish maybe your, your booze. Uh, we bought some bubbly water, and obviously ice is a little cheaper outside of the resort. But overall, you're gonna wanna bring your own groceries because otherwise you're gonna be going pretty far to get an actual grocery store. So, like the sign says, it is a California desert oasis. It really is a very nice resort. We would like to remind you guys that if you want to come stay here, they get pretty busy year round. So you're going to want to make your reservations as early as possible and hopefully uh, something will be available for you. Yeah, our group actually tries to book the peninsula that we stay on up to a year in advance because it's so busy and we have a big group of people. So definitely recommend that. And like I said, each peninsula site can hold between two and 10 RVs. Well, we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And if you found some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. So just a random little tidbit that uh, happened to us and helped improve our experience staying here. Um, one of our friends lost their wallet. They left it at the restaurant, the Pirates Cove restaurant, and a maintenance worker actually found it and turned it in. And as we were walking around today, he flagged us down and asked, hey, did you lose a wallet? I turned it in over here, so if you guys want to go pick it up. I'm like, yeah, was it for Jackie? It's like, yeah. So thank you, Jeff, if you're watching this video, <laughs> because you are the person that found the wallet, and we really appreciate you. Thank you.